Showers moving into West Michigan right now. We've been telling you about it all week, and now the rain is here. We say hello, South Haven, South Beach Live, and if you look closely, you can tell that the pier is wet there with just some showers moving in. You know, this is the appetizer, if you will. Notice the tarmac here wet as we look live at the Kalamazoo Battle Creek Airport with the airport camera. Uh, both of these views, thanks to our partners at Horizon Broadband, soggy Saturday morning. The rain may be heavy overnight. You know it's not going to be tailgate friendly weather for Western's homecoming breezy and chilly through Saturday morning. That rain might taper off in order to get maybe the game in, which starts at three. That's when we have the kickoff, of course, for the big Western game at Waldo. And so maybe that rain will just be some scattered showers. I'll take you hour by hour. I'll show you. Now, Sunday sunshine's not out of the question as we say sayonara to that Saturday storm. Let's talk rain because that's what's going on right now. Live Doppler radar. Again, some of these showers starting to move in. This is all very light stuff. It's a little more substantial and a little more sustained once you get close to the lakeshore there from Muskegon to Holland and then right on down to South Haven and Silver Beach. These showers are going to continue moving to the east, and so it's going to continue being wet. What's at play here? It's that storm that we were tracking yesterday, kicking out of the Rockies into the western plains. It's been spending the day moving through the plains and headed toward the Mississippi Valley. You can see that low right there with a couple of areas of rain. We're about to get the first batch here. There's some big thunderstorms going on right now in central Iowa where they've had a tornado watch and those thunderstorms are going to continue moving to the east. And you know, late tonight and overnight, I don't think we'll see severe weather, but we could be seeing and hearing a little lightning and thunder. Let's go hour by hour. There are those showers continuing to move through, so it's going to be wet for Friday night fever. And here comes that second batch moving through. So overnight and even daybreak tomorrow, 7 a.m. We stop our clock. We're in the mid to upper 40s to around 50. We're not using much of the thermometer, but we are staying down in the chilly zone. And with wind in the morning into the early afternoon, gusts up to 40 miles per hour. It's going to be a bit of a chilly raw day. And you see by Saturday afternoon and evening, we start to see those showers winding down. How about a quick look outside downtown Kalamazoo, where we do have a little of that light rain that's coming down right now. And the temperature right now at 54 degrees. That was our Peregrine Tower Cam, upper 40s in GR Allegan. And also in Holland, we're down about five to eight degrees from where we were at this time yesterday. Let's talk forecast. Rain, maybe some thunder overnight, 47 for the low, as it will be breezy and chilly for tomorrow. We're looking for rain, especially in the morning, becoming scattered in the afternoon. I have 50. Sealy Auto Group seven day, a little improvement on Sunday and next week we'll be seeing some more sunshine. So nice to welcome mm -hmm. back the sun, but it's not going to be around for tomorrow. Yeah, your timing's not ideal. No, I'm a little off. Yeah, you are. Off. Let the whole weekend be rainy <laughs> mess and beautiful sun on yeah, a Tuesday. I would say way off. It's wasted on a weekday. I'm going to be fired if I keep this up. You're never going to be fired. I don't know about that. <laughs>